Hello, my lovely Scorpios, and welcome to Digu Tarot. I am going to be doing your December 2018 extra monthly love reading. Um, there is a love reading as well in your December 2018 um, first half of the month reading, so check that out, as well as the readings for your sun, moon, and rising for December, and um, your Venus sign love readings. Okay, guys, check out all of those will have different messages for you. You might resonate um, more with some than others um, this month, so it's always good to check them all out and see what messages you can get and how they can maybe apply to your life, or if they don't, there might be other ones for you. Alrighty, Scorpios. If you also want to enter for a chance to win a free 30-minute reading, um, subscribe to the channel, share a video, like a video, and then email me at dikutero at gmail.com, and you'll be entered into that contest. I'm going to choose the winners in January, and you have until December 31st to enter. All that information, as well as all the information on how to book a private reading with me, is right below this video. All right, Scorpios. Now everyone will resonate with this reading, as I was saying. Let me connect to your higher selves. Please allow me to connect to the higher selves, the Scorpios that need to have messages coming through for love and romance this month. Scorpios that need guidance this month. Archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel to goddess Aphrodite, goddess of love, pagan gods and goddesses, as well as universal spirit and mother earth. All right, where are my Scorpios in terms of love and romance at this time? I'm doing this reading during the Sagittarius um, new moon. So um, we're at a Mercury retrograde and um, we got the Sagittarius new moon highlighting our... Um, more, we're going to be feeling very, um, what is the word I'm looking for here? Eh, I've lost it. Um, expanding our horizons, our consciousness, expanding our spiritual side. So we have a very expansive energy here, and yet Venus is also in your sign as well as Mercury um, went directly to your sign yesterday. So a lot of Scorpio energy, very expansive energy, very deep. All right, where are you guys at? Beginning of the month here, we get the Knave of Swords. Interesting, interesting. Knave of Swords um, can be kind of harsh with his words this time. It could also mean that we're getting new ideas, new directions, um, you know, breaks in communication here. Um, I also think, again, we're going to be able to finally understand and work out the situations that maybe came up during Mercury Retrograde. We're going to have the ability to understand certain things and find new ways forward um, within our relationships and how to communicate. So if we're having trouble communicating or reaching conclusions and, um, you know, equal understandings here, we're going to be able to communicate our feelings, our thoughts, and where we think things are moving from um, here forward, or at least that's how we're feeling right now. It's a very new um, type of energy coming into our relationships when you see the Knave of Swords. Um, okay, new ideas. So let's see. And I'm going to, actually I want to use my Hieronymus Bosch deck for you guys. Um, we'll clarify again with my Gustav Klimt deck. So let's check out what is coming in this month for you guys for love and romance. What is coming in for my Scorpios for the rest of the month for love and romance. Please show me in terms of Offers, situations, people. What is coming in? Who is coming in? We get first the Knight of Wands. Moving forward, um, following our passions. Also a very sexual chemistry type of energy. When I see the Knight of Wands, he's very attractive. He's very flirty. He's very fun. Um, you know, we're feeling very, very open and attractive and having a good time. Um, you know, he's a very passionate guy. And again, if you guys are single, we might be meeting somebody that is a knight of wands. Very attractive, very flirty, very captivating. Somebody that really turns heads and whose um, energy is just really amazing. Could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries as well. Again, that's also that Sagittarian energy, which is very fun, very flirty. You want to go out and have a good time. Whether we're single or not, okay? Alright, Scorpio, as we move forward to the month here, towards the middle of the month. Get ooh the King of Wands of a lot of fire energy here. Maybe an air sign again. Sorry, not an air sign. <laughs> Why did I say that? A fire sign. An Aries, um, a Sagittarius, a Leo. Again, we have a fire sign here. This person again is very attractive. Maybe they may feel even almost too attractive to us. Like, how are we with this person, or how is this person interested in me? You guys might be second guessing yourselves. Like, 
uh, what's going on here? <laughs> um, whoa. But the King of Wands, again, is very attractive. He's a real go-getter. Um, very um, magnetic energy here. Very magnetic energy. We'll see what else comes up. And also, these cards have double meanings. The meanings that, you know, are intrinsically um, and intuitively within the tarot for me and within these card messages that are coming from your spirit guides. But the booklet also has different meanings that I will go over as well. All right, around that Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn and the um, Cancer full moon. What is coming out in love and relationships for my Scorpios? Let me get the Eight of Swords reversed. That's interesting because I kind of saw that pop out earlier, but came out reversed. Okay. Um, so we are freeing ourselves from any sort of mental burdens or um, maybe if we didn't, again, believe that we were good enough for the situation. Maybe if we um, thought negatively about ourselves and it was affecting maybe our sex lives or our passions if we are in a relationship or even if we're not we could have been feeling bad about ourselves and not able to move forward um towards who we want to passionately towards who we are attracted to um it does feel like we're releasing ourselves from those burdens here around that cancer full moon we're learning to love ourselves and balance our relationships and balance um our views of ourselves and who we are we're like i don't feel negatively about myself anymore and i realize that maybe that was holding me back all right, let's move towards the end of the month here. At the end, it will, end of the year, really. End of 2018, where will my Scorpios be into their relationships in love and romance? What will be coming forward? Offers, situations, general energy. We get the Eight of Wands. Moving forward in a lot of different directions. Um, having a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Um, very busy as well. This is very um, uh, <laughs> passionate energy. You guys are filled with passion this month. This is a lot of um chemistry energy here uh, a lot of wands to me is always very sexual chemistry um let's pull some clarifiers for you guys knight of wands clarify the knight of wands and the king of wands here for my scorpios for december clarify the messages of the knight of wands and the king of wands i hope i wasn't calling you guys sagittarius but there's been so much fire energy i think i might have gotten sidetracked on that and i hope i didn't just call you guys sagittarius um all right, Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Clarify the messages here. Who? And we get the Hermit. Um, maybe it's a need to kind of sit back and understand a situation. Uh, maybe before we rush forward within our passions or maybe something that we've been thinking about. Um, I don't know, something that maybe we knew deep down inside here. Um, very interesting with the Hermit here. Also, it could have to do with a Virgo. We might want to move passionately towards a Virgo or... Um, I don't know. We'll see what else comes out here. Very interesting. And again, I want to look at those double meanings. Very interesting. I need to look within to in order to really understand. Like, instead of just um, doing what you're usually doing, maybe look within, find your passion, and really follow it this month. All right. King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands here for my Scorpios. Just coming forward with the King of Wands. And we get the... In the Ace of Pentacles reverse, so maybe we're feeling very ungrounded, very unstable. Um, we don't really, I don't know, very interesting. With the Ace of Pentacles reverse, um, there's almost a lack energy. Maybe we're trying to understand why there is a lack, why there is, um, why we are without that abundance that we need right there. Interesting. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords here. Clarify the messages of the Eight of Swords for my Scorpios for love and romance. We get the Eight of... Oh my God, we get the Eight of Swords reversed again. So again, guys, whatever um, was making you feel really blocked, especially uh, maybe even like in the weaker days before this um, with that Ace of Pentacles reversed, as we move into Capricorn season, as we move into that um, Cancer full moon, we are releasing ourselves from these negative pressures, from feeling lack, from feeling like we can't accumulate wealth. Again, if we, that's a problem in our relationship here, and we feel like we feel deep down that this is an issue that causes us to feel like we can't move forward in our passions, or we can't act, you know, like that sexy King of Wands energy there, um, whether we male or female. Oh my gosh, as I dropped all the cards here, um, it does show that, you know, we are releasing ourselves from that, you know, whatever this feeling here is, whatever we're feeling so much lack of abundance in, in our relationships here, um, it is released here, the Eight of Swords reverse both, like, it is repeated, like, how crazy is that, two different decks, same card, same position, <laughs> oh my gosh, and as I look up, I see Ravi, um, little black cat Ravi that we have, he's just outside, Playing in the grass, looking around. So again, you guys might be trying to figure out 
you know, where your heart is taking you at this time. You might be trying to figure out what blocks you from following that. And it could be, again, a lack of finances. Maybe if we haven't been able to build up finances or feel secure, we have a, there's a sense of insecurity here, and we don't need to feel insecure. Because whoever this other person is in our lives, they see us as this Knight of Wands, as this King of Wands. And they might be a Virgo, it might not be. They might have something in Virgo there. Um, but deep down, we might know that maybe that's the reason that we don't feel... Um, that sense of abundance, that sense of security in our relationship or um, moving into relationships. And that's why, you know, we can never secure it. <laughs> why we never end up, you know, making it long term here. Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands at the end of the month for my Scorpios. Clarify the Eight of the Wands for love and romance. Clarify the messages for love and romance for the Eight of Wands. For my Scorpios at the end of this month here. For the end of 2018. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, so whatever pain, whatever situation we were in before, um, oh my gosh, and there, <laughs> now the other kitty, Miss Kitty, is going across now. So, um, yeah, maybe you do, you have a new period ushering in here. You have somebody that is coming for you, somebody that cares about you, somebody that will follow you, because <laughs> she's like creepily following him, and it's kind of cute. Um, but it does feel like we're going into this new period here. We're letting go of the old. We're letting go of this pain. We're letting go of whatever was making us feel trapped, making us feel like maybe this couldn't work out. So again, I just feel like we have this new energy, this new chemistry, this new passion for each other here coming in at the end of the year. And it might have to do with our own security in ourselves. All right. The Knave of Wands. Or my, oh, sorry. The Knight of Wands. I always say the Knaves and the Knights. I always feel like I switch them up. Um, the Knight of the Wands on this deck is the Animal Tamer. To impose one's will is sometimes only a matter of asking. So again... Um, <laughs> sometimes the only thing that we need to do to, you know, push ourselves forward in passion is to ask. Maybe if we don't understand, um, why we can't move towards something or what the issue here is, all we have to do is ask. Um, and again, if we want to know how somebody feels about us, um, and if they want to be with us passionately, all we have to do is really ask. Ask yourself and also look within. This is also saying to look within, um, at our hearts here, at our passions and what really drives us at the beginning of this month. Or who really drives us. Or, you know, how to introduce passion back into a relationship. I'm um, sorry, Miss Kitty is a lot to say to you guys, I guess. She sounds, she likes squawk, so she does sound like a weird bird. Um, don't you? Yeah, you're a bird. <laughs> Alright, the King of Wands. Alright, she's got a lot to say to you guys, you Scorpio. <laughs> Alright, the Master. That which teaches is more precious than that which knows, okay? That which teaches is more precious than that which knows. Again, um... You know, this might not be, again, maybe we were thinking this month about, you know, where have we followed our passion this month? Or maybe we've let them go by the wayside within a relationship if we are in one. Or if we're not in a relationship, it feels like we haven't followed our passions. We haven't gone for who we've wanted to go for, for one reason or another. And again, we're looking at the reasons behind that. The King of Wands is, you know, he... It, whatever he's teaching or whatever you're learning this year, whether it had been painful or not, whether it had been, you know, a message in lack or like a lesson in having lack and not, if you're in a relationship and you had to go through some really tough times of have, not having money, of not having any um, foundation or having um, a lack of passion because of this lack of foundation, it does feel like we're getting through it. Yeah, she is really agreeing. I don't know. Maybe it's really resonating with one of you guys because she's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, the Eight of Swords. Now you guys know what I have to deal with all the time. The inexpert one. By lashing out at air, one does not find the refreshment. One thing at a time. Again, this is one thing at a time. Don't be so worried about a million things. Focus in on your relationships right now. And, um, you know, focus in on where you want them to go in the future. About putting passion back into your relationship. That, what, that really is what's screaming to me is important right now is renewing passion. Um, there's a lot of wands energy here and a lot of, um, mental frustration and, um, you know, th things within your mind and materially that kind of make you feel like you're holding, um, that make you feel like you can't move forward, that you can't be passionate, you can't feel good about yourself or your relationship, and you can. Um, the eight of wands, so yeah, we get a lot of eights here, three eights, and we get the ten of swords. I love the ten of swords reverse because that means we are out of that period, we're letting it go. This is the end of it. Um, okay. Alright, the Eight of Wands here. 
the fisherman. I mean, everything must be done at the right time and in the right way. Shouting does not bring results, okay? Shouting does not bring results. Um, and again, every, timing is everything. Everything will happen in due time. Don't rush things. This is like, he's like, oh my God, all this energy is here in Sagittarian season and I was supposed to do all this. Don't do that this month, okay? If you guys catch yourself trying to do too many things at once this month, take a breather, relax, plan for the future, and just enjoy the passion of the moment. Enjoy passion and renewing passion with your lover, with your partner, with your wife or husband. Um, that's what seems to be important here, communication and passion and feeling good about oneself and enjoying this energy. Um, yeah, she's saying, heck yeah, guys. <laughs> All right, the king of, oh, sorry, the king of swords, the ten of swords reversed here. Um, at the end, again, it's a really great indicator, especially with two eight of swords reversed. We're releasing so much negative energy here. I really do think that we are really um, able to let go of a lot of conflict, a lot of problems um, in our life here, you know. Um, but we have to let go of the past here. This is saying, again, that we need to let go. We need to forget the past. We need to forget that lack of energy. We really need to release it if we want to move forward here into the new year um, with all this wonderful energy that we have. All right, Scorpios, let's look at your, um, let's look at some guidance for you guys from my mini tarot and then some from my Stacey DeMarco Oracle. Wow, she is, now you know, she will just do this for like a half hour whenever we let her back in. She just kind of talks at you. It's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, um, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's check out my mini tarot here. And these are from Simple Ghost. And they're from my friend Eden. She sent these up from Boston or down from Boston for me. I love them. I think they're so cute. Um, so let me move this in a little bit so we have a little more light here. Because the sun just set on me. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Love advice for my Scorpios for December 2018. Love advice for my Scorpios for December 2018. Advice for them in love and relationships. Why do I want to pull this one so bad? Ooh, justice. We're having a balancing out here. Cutting out again what no longer serves us. We're balancing things. We're um, figuring out what needs to be fixed here, and we're doing it. That's really how that feels. It's very just energy. We're finding that balance, striking that balance here that's needed. All right, let's see. Advice for my Scorpios for December 2018 for love and romance from my Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle. All right, Spirit, Divine Guidance, please give the Scorpios some direction and anything that they need to know for love and romance. And we get, ooh, Cauldron, Synergy and Healing. Mm. Cauldron. <laughs> Hi, cutie. She's being very cute. Um, synergy and healing. Where all things come together under pressure, flowful synergy, a new thing is created, a crucible infinity. Um, okay, should you receive the cauldron card, it indicates the importance of combining a variety of techniques or elements to get the best result. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Refuse to choose just a single rigid pathway when a variety of ways there are, see, sorry, a variety of ways are there to be enjoyed and experienced. You can find your own ways to create something new. The cauldron is a deeply transformational tool. Things change once they are put under pressure. Resilience is being cultivated over time, and this means that you will be able to withstand any negative pressure much more healthily from the inside out. So, guys, um, again, resilience has been cultivated this year. You guys are more resilient than maybe you think or maybe you feel at this time. Um, and don't just choose one rigid pathway. Again, right now, if we like are feeling pressured to make one decision, we need to be um, open-minded to anything coming in. And um, especially within love and romance, we need to be open-minded to um, new pathways and new journeys um, and new healing experiences, okay? Combine a variety of techniques. Um, maybe it's time to, again, just enjoy each other in a very passionate, loving way this month, okay? As we enter the new year, renew your relationship, heal your relationships in a lot of fun different ways. All right, Scorpios, check out your readings um, for your sun, moon, and rising for the month of December, or sorry, the first half of December. Those are all up, so check those out. Also check out um, your Venus sign readings for love. And um, again, if, you know, if you guys wanna be entered into that contest, like, share, subscribe, and then once you have done all that, um, email me and you guys will be put into that contest, okay? Um, thank you guys so much. All that information as well as all the information on booking your private reading is right below this video. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the mid-monthlies.